A new day has arrived and it's still not Christmas. What do you cut? Uh, apparently my mom is calling me. Uh, we can take a break for a second. I don't, um, she sent me a text earlier, it was like, hey, call me, and then called, and I was like, oh shit, what's going on? Um, because my grandpa is going in for, uh, chemotherapy this week. Mm. So, like, any, yeah, uh, vague text that just yeah. says, call me, is kind it's of not, like, oh my god. Yeah, your <laughs> radar goes up. A anytime my mom <laughs> texts me, call me, I'm, oh, my god. radar always fucking goes How up. How are, like... It's not just boomers. It's Gen X too. Are yes. terrible at this of just like the. I'm thinking too of like bosses or things like that. Of like you get a meeting invite or a calendar invite or something, and it just says talk about something, or there's just like some vague ominous line, and I'm like, yes, am I and getting it, fired? <laughs> like, it's it's annoying fuck? as shit, and it drives me insane. All right, so we're back at Christmas the 43rd. All right. What happened? Wait, uh, what happened? Nothing. We're just continuing here. All right, okay. So Santa ran away. Santa uh, ran away and everything back. should have been fine, but we're still stuck in this Majora's mask in Christmas loop here. All right, and so it just said for yes. the 43rd. What? That can't be possible. Did you see the calendar announcement page? The UI doesn't lie. It's Christmas Eve the 43rd. And after all my hard work, I got a text from message from Santa this morning. He said, I'm drunk as shit. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I don't know why it's not Christmas yet. I'll keep trying to make my deliveries and search the ancient books of Christmas lore for an answer. It's called the Bible. Get your shit right, Santa. Could there be another villain we need to defeat? That couldn't possibly be the problem. That's crazy talk. Another boss that we defeated was clearly the final boss? Ridiculous! It must be that pow your power of relationship wasn't strong enough. You mean I have to spend even more time with the people of this world? How tiring. Well, we do have a few more days until the next major story beat. <laughs> Let's get this over with. It is now Christmas Eve the 44th. Uh, well, I guess we gotta do a few more things here. So let's spend time with Crystal. <laughs> Cthulhu just needs to spend some time with Crystal. You've really come a long way. When I first met you, you were an annoying, solipistic monster. Thanks for noticing. And you still are an annoying, solipistic monster, but I guess I don't mind it as much now. I know your true love doesn't really show up until the next game. Really? Oh shit. <laughs> but in another game with another script. No, that's crazy talk. Another fun side effect of hanging out with me. As I understand it. Here, I want you to have this. Cthulhu receives an unmeltable icicle. The icicle transforms into a cloak. Cthulhu got a Christmas cloak. <laughs> Interesting. I just want you to know that no matter what happens, I'll always be your friend and ally. Except for the next game, I won't be in that, because it's not Christmas themed. Cthulhu since that he's formed a lasting relationship with the Snow Maiden Crystal. Now let's finish this incredibly silly game together. It is now Christmas Eve the 45th. Uh, obviously Baba. Baba. Yeah. 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 I suppose this is the one for Belchnickel, too. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe we got that when he was whipping us. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the answer. Cthulhu just said to spend some time with Baba Yaga. I was hoping you'd visit. You're going to figure out how to beat this game, boss. I know you will. But then, what'll I do? I know the stories say I'm going to grow up to be a mean old hag, but I wonder. i kind of gotten used to this whole hero shtick. Maybe I should stick with it. I could wander the countryside in my chicken hut, righting wrongs and vanquishing evil. People would regale each other with tales of my valor while sipping eggnog and eating omelets. Man, I love that the chicken's face always, uh... It always matches, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's great. Baba Yaga the heroine has a nice ring to it. Or I could just go full-blown evil and terrorize small children. I haven't decided yet. Weighing the pros and cons. Cthulhu senses that he's formed a lasting <laughs> relationship with the chicken aficionado Baba Yaga-chan. Take this, I made it myself. Cthulhu received a necklace with a beautiful egg attached. If you don't want to wear it, you can always give it back. Could have some useful effects in combat. Cthulhu got the true egg. The successful yeah, thing, okay. It is now Christmas Eve the 46th. Okay, uh, I thought I was supposed to do something here, but I guess not yet. Uh, where do we want to go? Uh, I guess the graveyard. Yeah, let's see if there's more of the graveyard thing. Cthulhu decides to return to the graveyard. There are still some gravestone messages that he's not yet read. Cthulhu begins to read. 
Pythagoras, a real hack and a total bore at parties. <laughs> Eileen Deboa, love lived the way that she died, died the way that she lived. Um, so she drank a lot of Mountain Dew, I guess. I don't know. Uh. Denver, Dakota, always wanted to travel to his namesakes. <laughs> the author, nobody cares what you think. Cthulhu tires of reading the gravestone messages. Ah, Cthulhu, right? I'm October. It's the woman from before. Today is your lucky day, for it is indeed I, the mighty Cthulhu. Please, no autographs or flash photography. Can I ask you a favor? Of course not, but I'm intrigued by your boldness. Continue. Can you teach me how to raise the dead? Oh, shit. Now that is an interesting request indeed. Well, I've always said that the world could use more zombies. I'd love to. More zombies, but not more zombie TV shows. I think we're done with that. Yeah, that's a good Wait, point. Zombies? No, I meant a full restoration from death to life. That's not possible with the Eldritch Arts. It's zombies or nothing. I mean, you could call them something else, I suppose. They don't have to necessarily be zombies. <laughs> they could be walkers or something. Well, I suppose I could learn about zombie summoning. I'm supposed to be a necromancer, after all. Cthulhu spent several minutes discussing the proper summoning techniques, feeding, and general care of zombies. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Maybe I'll have a chance to repay you sometime. Unlikely the game's about to end. Payment is nice, but just the thought that there might be more zombies around is reward enough. I love those creepy guys. We'll meet again. Farewell. Oh, and head to the back of the graveyard before you go home. You might find something useful there. I Why I brought you over here and not back at the graveyard, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Cthulhu heads back to the graveyard. Hidden behind one of the grave markers is a treasure chest. Cthulhu got a swamp dress. It boosts Baba's poison damage. Okay. It is now Christmas Eve the 47th. I guess we still have a week to do things then, so okay. Uh, but Wait, that's... October. Let's go talk to October. Oh, yeah, October, yeah. Uh, okay. Cthulhu decides to return to the graveyard. There are still some gravestone messages that he's not yet read. We're really doing this again? <laughs> Cthulhu Loon wrestled the Grim Reaper and almost won. But didn't, that's why he's fucking dead! Exactly. Chandra Kilodes the Sama had an affair with a zombie, ended poorly. No kidding. Thomas a hole, a real piece of work. Real piece of work, <laughs> yeah. Thomas a hole. Boris Kuzlitsky, his death sparked off a massive chain of events culminating in an epic space battle with Space Dog. Excellent. Aryan Arena Hood Zizik, the Z is silent. The Z so is silent. Arena Hood Z Yix, Yix, the Z is silent. Oh, I'm tired of reading gravestones and dealing <laughs> with your shit. I wasn't sure you'd come back. The lingering stench of death, the incoherent rambling gravestone messages, why wouldn't I return? When I first saw you, I wondered if I really wanted to get mixed up with an elder god. The answer to that question is always no. But then I sensed a great feeling of loss from you and realized you weren't really that different after all. I have lost something, haven't I? And I will stop at nothing to get it back, even if it means defeating the entire League of Christmas Evil. I know you'll succeed, and I'm not just saying that because this is a prequel. I can see your victory in the stars. A necromancer and a stargazer. If I didn't already have a, pull, a full party, I'd try to recruit you. Haha, <laughs> you're getting a little impatient, aren't you? Our paths weren't supposed to cross this closely, but this early. But the fates can surprise you. Take this, it'll help you in the battles to come. I we got a rebirth in the next game, or in the, I'm curious, yeah. We gotta play that game, game too. We, at I some mean, point, that'd be like good. Probably be pretty fun. Yeah. We both have work to do until we meet again. Who says that we will form a lasting relationship with the Dark Sorceress October well, in the next go. game? Well, there you go. But we need one in this game. That's true, yeah. Well, a sorceress or a relationship? It's uh, not Christmas Eve the 48th. They did just say, oh. There we go. See. Uh, four more <laughs> days of relationship building and it's still not Christmas. Maybe that wasn't the problem. Of course it wasn't the problem. You just like seeing me suffer. I've been thinking about the situation some more and I think I may have the answer. What exactly is the problem we're facing here? This game just won't end. Not enough chickens? Woof! <laughs> Time is standing still! This is the rub of the matter. Time won't progress. And how is that supposed to help us solve anything? Think, what Christmas novel is about time manipulation? Die Hard. It's Die Hard. Yeah. yeah it's definitely Die Hard. Yeah. How should I know? I'm Cthulhu. I don't read Christmas novels. 
Maybe if I ever got any Christmas presents, somebody might have given me a Christmas book to read. A Christmas Carol! That's it! And who in the Christmas Carol is the most sinister being of them all? Bill Murray. The Ebenezer Scrooge! I thought you didn't read Christmas books. I saw the movie. <laughs> the one with Muppets. <laughs> no, Ebenezer Scrooge is powerless. Besides, he's reformed at the end. That's the whole point of the book. The ghost of Christmas past is jovial. The ghost of Christmas past is nostalgic. That only leaves the ghost of Christmas future. The robot. <laughs> the ro Oh my oh, god. Oh shit. Uh, can I? I have That's something already. It. Well, 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 I never thought you'd figure it out. I'm going to add robot effects to that, so it sounds exactly like the Aqua Teen Hunger Force Excellent. ghost. <laughs> this timeline tires me. Let's speed things up to their natural conclusion. I don't know what day it is. Behold, a future without Santa. Thousands of years ago. In the year 2000. Where is everyone? A world full of damned souls seeking my guidance. Yes, you're going to die. Yes, you're not going to repent. Yes, I'm going to laugh at your misfortune. Here I am, the end. What's happened to you? You used to be so nice under that grim facade. I'll tell you what happened. I saw the ultimate future. First the ATMs rose and destroyed humanity. Then Bitcoin came and crushed humanity. With the joy of Christmas influencing the world year after year, not just individuals got better, humanity improved. Eventually, with no more lost souls, I was out of a job. And with no need for my services, my existence ended. I could have gone take Thanksgiving, but there was a fucking turkey there. But here, my existence is secure. I reign supreme. But at what cost? You've lost your soul. Nobody destroys the world but me. Do you hear that? I'm ending this. If you make it past my minions, you're welcome to try. You'll fail. I've already seen your failure. I've I watched mean. your videos. <laughs> <laughs> this world is a shadow of things that maybe only. Oh my Why God. show us this if you're past all hope? He's Jimbo. He is, yes. <laughs> He's past all hope. That's what Jimbo watches. We're going to beat some sense into you. If you won't accept death with grace, then so be it. Death without honor it is. You'll rue the day you ever met me. Do things the hard way. It all ends the same way. Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel pretty good that we do not have to do battles uh, to get to him. So Wait, gonna... do the talk. Oh, yeah. Do the talk. This is it. The grand finale. Everything's been leading up to this moment. Don't forget to save, fucking asshole. <laughs> Isn't this short for an RPG? Shouldn't we still have 15 more dungeons to go to? Nobody's got time for that damage these days. Just be glad you got a new game at all. The narrator is that. right. Why these days kids don't even bother actually playing video games? They just watch assholes stream it. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy watching the stream of a better video <laughs> game on my phone. <laughs> Back in my day, video games were two sticks and a ball in the snow, and we liked it. If my next game isn't at least 1,000 hours, I don't know what I'll do, but you'd better watch out. Better not cry about it, either. Uh... uh yeah, okay. Anyways, I was gonna say, I don't know about that. I think RPGs are way longer than they used to be. Like... Uh, it, it depends. Like, there's a lot of short indie ones. Yeah, that's true. I guess I, the short indie ones went this direction, and then you've got, like, your Red Deads and your... Oh, oh those, those absolutely are, are way started. longer and stuff, too. A Xenoblade in particular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I, Torna, Torna is only 15 hours, so I'm gonna, I'm, oh. I plan to play Torna next, uh, next February for games I love. Also, Colonel Sanders dating simulator <laughs> because that's also one I've turned out to love after all. Oh God, <laughs> that I was wish. so fucking good. I had no idea it'd be possible. I, be I had no fun. idea we could love it as much as we did, but we, th that's gonna be a great playthrough. I mean, it just got better and better it, it, it just it just keep escalating this game kind of has elements of that too like mm -hmm. it feels like it keeps escalating nonsense yeah it definitely does yes <laughs> uh yeah so i mean yeah we unfortunately have to get into just a small fight here but it's not that bad <laughs> no none of these should last that long here in terms of damage 
but they will be annoying because they just exist. Although they just stunned my, uh, they just stunned my move, so that's unfortunate. So let's call Kraken this way here. There we go. <laughs> so what do we got? A slime and a Christmas future robot. Oh, uh, we got Soylent, oh, uh, and we've got neutralizes you mostly. Mostly. Dude, it's Soylent. I mean, Soylent's a silent killer, man, and it's green. I, I mean, you know, in my fridge. I've heard it's made of people, but that can't be right. Now, of course it's made of people. How do you, how the fuck else do you think you're going to get all those proteins? I mean, that you is don't fair. Get, you don't get gains by going to the gym. You get gains oh, I gotta by... I got to get gains, bro. You got to get gains from the eating people, bro. Exactly. That, that's the thing. Like, if you follow our two-step plan, you will not only be a cannibal, but you'll also get majorly jacked, bro. It's going to be so sick, bro. You're going to get so many gains at the gym, bro. This, I mean, this, yeah, this, did you this, go the right way? I feel like I did. <laughs> I mean, you know... Nothing I love more than future than oh, just the, the abyss. <laughs> yeah, well, we won't equip till we get to the boss here, effectively. Because <laughs> there's no reason to. Oh, that's not true. We can equip now. <laughs> uh, that's a good it's sword. Stronger. Okay, yeah. It's not oh, bad. Yeah. Hot uh, keep that. Yeah, God, we may as well. The HP a... boost in the last two dungeons is like. Yeah, no. We, I think the web. The, I think things could have been better balanced. I mean, it's not. Uh, it's not uh, Mother One or uh, or even Mother Two in terms of like the difficulty spike, though. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, all right. So yeah, we'll keep the Fabergé egg. Well, uh, maybe not actually. Let's do. Let's. I'm gonna do the true egg because chicken power can go to four hundred. <laughs> Damn. But then I also want to switch to... Th no, because then I want to... Okay, this could be fucking with strategy here, potentially. But I want to... Oh, no, that's not going to... I want egg damage every turn, so I guess not. Never mind. I thought it would... Uh, I, I thought it would uh, do egg stuff every turn, but I guess not. Because I wanted to boost her egg like crazy and just do a massive amount of damage. But didn't end up being that way. So let's just keep progressing forward here. Uh, nice little treasure chest here. Uh, Cadius wand. Okay, let's see if that's any better than what she currently has. Uh, very much so. Okay, well that's happening. And it boosts our regen power? Why would we not want to do that? Oh, so we're, we're just getting we're ultimate- just, yeah, right? We're just getting ultimate final weapons for everybody. I mean, it's fine, but it, it's just- For- for- yeah, it, it- just for- 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 common enemies it doesn't do anything that that's like a thing yeah yeah i mean thankfully there's a way to bypass it it's not consistent but i mean yeah so I, I this is much more final dungeon looking it very much is yeah i, I mean I, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed krampus was kind of a fucking pushover yeah it was unfortunate i, I mean i, I get it because you want him to have a final form but it's like yeah i can't it's kind of nice that they made like the christmas thing the bad guy Yes. Ooh. Yeah, that, that, that's what you hope happens anyway in these kind of games. Uh, I'm going to go the other way quick because I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it looked like it might. Uh... Yeah, it, it kind of splintered the path a little bit there. And that, that's the other thing is I kind of wish there was more to these dungeons other than just wandering around and occasionally grabbing a chest. And obviously getting into a random battle every now and again is, you know, what it is. Uh, yeah. One damage, everybody. Okay. Oh, well, these things actually have a lot of HP. Well, like everything else, I guess, really. Yeah, I mean, we're right at that point. It's I mean, yeah. Worst. No, Final Fantasy really X's bitch. end game seems to be would be way worse in terms yeah, of like they end always game. do that. God, I forgot about that. Final Fantasy X, right before the final fight, has that like you, you just go through the, like, that that world effectively, and yeah, it's that, just like, kind of yeah. There's like that gauntlet, that big like circle area where you fight like like 10 a whole bunch of like behemoths and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, you get a bunch of really crazy stuff like double flare and. I, I mean, it, it's fine, flare, like because I I love doing spear grid manipulation and stuff when I play that and stuff, so. Uh, but but even even so, like it, 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 it's a slog. But I, I mean, most 
post Final Fantasy games, the last area is a slog. Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah, it, it, it just simply is that. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's literally no reason for me to care about this fight here, unfortunately. <laughs> it's just whittling them down. <laughs> But whittling them down, and then they have to go use my stuff, though. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, how much HP do these things this have? This had like 7,000 HP. Ugh. And it's not like they're dealing much damage to me. That, that's the other thing. It, yeah, it's like, at that point. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, I love this game. This has been a good playthrough, but this... Th this needed to be rebalanced, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I, I just... I don't care about fighting. <laughs> And maybe some of that is I should be rebalancing moves and stuff. Like, she has no moves that do anything other than graze her chicken effectively. Maybe that's part of the problem. But I still feel like even having one extra party member deal consistent damage, like, yeah, I, I don't feel that makes that big of a difference. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong and I've been playing the game wrong. You've been playing the game wrong. I mean, this you know, is also a possibility. You get revived, but she does not appear to have revived. Have well, you looked over the most the, the recent? I haven't looked over the most recent thing, so she might have it, and I'll definitely look to do it before the final battle if she does, because I feel like it's just good to have. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I got to Yes, exactly. Okay. Well, we're now at level thirty-six. This is the level I kind of want to be at at the end here. Slap. Huh? Did you get some kind of slap move. Yeah, and you got Metal Whip. Oh, make, Jesus Christ, I mean, he's, uh... I mean, yeah. Wow, uh, the Metal Whip seems... Like... Seems powerful, like every other weapon we've gotten here. Okay, let's let's equip some stuff here that we're gonna use. So he's he's good, I don't want to change that. Uh, I want to keep the Unbuffable and Heal and Regen, and that's his Ice, so that's it for her. Uh, I want to switch her stuff, because Stun only works, seems to work one time, and it doesn't work that well. So let's do... I'm gonna do... Well, not nah, nah. Uh... Here, I'm gonna do chicken eyes. I think chicken eyes might be better. Clockwork. Okay. I feel like those are good moves for her. I, I still feel like Belchnickel has good moves. So I don't, I don't want to screw with... I'm, I'm good with the layout we have here. Unless he got something really good that I don't know. Let me double check, see if he got something better. Uh, no, because that only hits one. 125% moves insane. That could be interesting, but I'm not super worried about that. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm good with what we got there. I don't need anything else. All right, all right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's worth a look to see if there's anything better, but I, I kind of feel like, I feel like my layout is optimal for boss battles, because it's got a lot of healing in the front, and a lot of ways to boost chicken power. Oh look, another treasure chest. Oh look, it's got another hyper crazy Jesus. thing. <laughs> I, I guess we'll use it. I mean, yeah, they're like, they are absolutely putting that there, like, making it, I don't know, what we, we were talking about, like, needing to rebalance at this point, but they are, like, very intentionally gearing you up. Yeah, which may mean that the final battle is a slog. Don't don't rule out that possibility that the final battle sucks and it could be could be party ending. <laughs> oh look, another thing that boosts her thing. <laughs> okay. A lot of graveyards. That's fun. Oh, no fun things to read on the graves, though. No, I like I said. I wish there was a way to interact with the environment. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. Shit! Up oh, there we go. Well, here we are. Save. Oh my god. We don't need to save right there. We saved two minutes ago. Oh.